Good morning. How the devil are you doing this fine day? Me? I'm a little sad, to be honest. Uh, the backdrop you see behind me, which has taken 24 months and about 15 iterations to perfect, is going away. At least for now. Uh, what is currently the Breakfast Show studio is about to be converted to a bedroom so we can accommodate my dad, who is not doing particularly well at the moment. And I'm being moved into the corner of a room next door without any of my usual knickknacks. As a result of that move, uh, I'd actually resign my, myself to the fact that there wouldn't be a break file show tomorrow, but there's a possibility my dad will actually be admitted to hospital today. So the studio might yet get a stay of execution, albeit a temporary one. Uh, I do hope to be here tomorrow uh, with or without the usual backdrop, uh, but watch this space. Now, without further ado, let me post the question of the day. Roll the intro and get this show on the road. Welcome to The Great Class Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony. It's Monday, the 7th of March, and as that remarkably persistent guy just said, welcome to The Breakfast Show. I am your host, Mark Anthony. In today's show, DSM scrambles at Eggborough Power Station. Nick Drew goes under the hammer. We're off to China to check out a new wheeled excavator, and it's finally down. The Berkman 2 building in Florida met its maker at the weekend. Plus, we're going to bring you details of our brand new podcast. We'll get to all that in just a second. But first, let's see who among the rich and the shameless will be celebrating a birthday on this day of days. Happy birthday! Excuse me, still trying to finish my coffee. Uh, it's many happy returns. To Scottish folk hero Rob Roy and to Bolero composer Maurice Ravel. Uh, happy birthday also to former NFDC patron Lord Snowden, to actor John Hurd and to West Indies cricket legend Viv Richards. To comedian Rick Mayo, tennis star Evan Lendl and to footballer Ch and Charlie Dimmock lookalike Ray Parler. Many happy returns to them one and all. <laughs> Now, you might recall that about four months ago, we brought you some exclusive footage of the explosive demolition of the iconic cooling towers at Eggborough Power Station up in North Yorkshire. That blast was carried out with great aplomb by DSM Demolition. Well, now that company has turned its explosive attention to the bunker bay at the same power station. And I'm delighted to say that DSM has very kindly shared some exclusive footage of yet another epic blast.
Many thanks to our buddy Billy Young for sharing that awesome footage. If there's one thing we love around here, it's a plant auction. Masses of kit to be crawled over, potential bargains to be had, and a bloke apparently speaking in tongues while holding a tiny hammer. Well, our friend and construction collective colleague Nick Drew shares our love of auctions, and he's been to look behind the scenes of a new sale that is now just a few weeks away. Over to you, Drewy. Well, hi, it's Nick Drew, and today you join me here in Cheshire, where I've come to see Williams Auctions. Now, this is a brand new startup auction business, and uh, they've got a raker kit here already, and uh, the auction isn't until April the 22nd, but uh, we're gonna go out now and take a look around. So come and join me. Well, whenever you attend an auction, you're always guaranteed to see a, a JCB telehandler. And I found a really nice example here. This is the 535-95, and it's the Agri Supermodel. And it's in really good condition. It's a 2018 machine, and uh, it'd, be, it'd be a fantastic buy for someone in the agricultural sector. Here at the Williams Auction, there's also a whole raft of hydraulic hammers and uh, plate compactors. These are all brand new bits of kit from High Rocks. This monster is the HD X60, a massive breaker for large machines. And so yeah, grab yourself a breaker. Well, if you're in the market for a track shovel, well, then check out this beast. It's the Cat 963D. Now this model is a, a 2007 machine. It's a uh, waste spec bucket on it and uh, it's all good to go. It's in fine working order, so uh, yeah, goodbye. Also available, uh, there's four 30 Cat 308 E2CR, eight tonne excavators, very popular model. And these are from our friends there at Ashbrook. So they've been well maintained, looked after, well serviced, originally sold by Finning in the UK. So uh, yeah, nice machines. Well, if you like your, your 21 ton excavators a certain shade of orange, then you're in for a treat when you come to the Williams Auction because they've got two of these Hitachi Zaxxis 210LC-6 models available here. They're both 2018 models and uh, relatively low hours and in excellent condition. So uh, yeah, great buy. So there we go. We've had a fantastic day taking a look around the new uh, Williams Auction site. Get yourself down here, take a look around. There's gonna be food and it's going to be a great event and I look forward to seeing you here. If you missed any of those details, just head on over to YouTube and search for Digger Man Blog. You can watch the whole thing there. Uh, while you're there, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Can I ju also just state for the record how good Nick Drew has got in front of the camera? Uh, I think he'd be the first to admit that he used to avoid being in front of the camera like the plague, uh, but the same as everything else he does. He's worked at it, honed his craft, and he is now a TV quality presenter. Um, funnily enough, um, our friend Nick uh, Peter Haddock has reflected the same thing. Fantastic to see Nick out and about reporting from site. Brilliant job and no camera crew necessary as all self-shot. Lovely insights and great job, Nick. I can only echo that. Yeah, fantastic job, Nick. Uh, keep them coming because we'll be more than happy to feature anything you produce. Some people spend their weekends socialising, eating, drinking. Some take part in sporting activities. Others use the weekend to rest and recuperate in preparation for the working week ahead. Me, 
I spend my weekend scouring the interwebs to bring you stories and footage that you may have missed. The one I'm about to show you um, play, uh, features a Chinese-built excavator, Chinese-built wheeled excavator, actually, from a brand that I am reliably informed is called Jin One. <laughs> That's the way the man said it, Jin One. Uh, then again, the guy in my local Chinese restaurant who advised me on the pronunciation might have just had me swearing at a billion of his countrymen. Uh, either that or he misunderstood what I was trying to say, and I've basically just ordered a portion of crispy rubber duck. Anyway... Here's the machine. As far as I'm aware, the Jink One brand is not actually, it's X-I-N-Y-U-A-N, and the guy at my local Chinese restaurant assures me it's pronounced Jin One. Um, <laughs> I could really get used to saying that. Um, apparently, they're not even available in Europe yet. Um, I've certainly never come across them at any of the industry exhibitions. If anyone knows otherwise, uh, please let me know. And for the final time, possibly forever, Jin One. Axoft and Svantec are your high-end partners for noise, vibration, dust, and air quality systems, sensors, and software. To find out more, visit axoft.co.uk or call 01234 639 550. It was on, and then it was off again. Then it was on, then it was off again. But the demolition of the Berkman II building in Jacksonville, Florida, has been on and off for more than uh, more than a soap opera love affair. But this weekend, the structure, which has stood empty for some 14 years, finally came down. And it did so in some style. That actually looks pretty much like my ideal day. Get out the boat, do a spot of fishing, watch a building get imploded. What more could you ask for? The Miller GT Series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting-edge intelligent coupler technology, increasing job site safety, machine versatility and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. 
On Friday last week, we took to the airwaves to bring you the first episode of our brand new uh, podcast called Beyond the Re- uh, Beyond the Reporter's Notebook. Let me try that again with my own teeth in. Beyond the Reporter's Notebook. That first episode, which is available on all good post- podcast platforms, and some rubbish ones too, uh, recounts the time I was held at gunpoint in Egypt, which was fun for everyone. Uh, the next episode, which I'll be recording at some point this week, has the working title, Naked in Norway. Uh, even though most people will only have access to the audio version, um, I am sure you'll be relieved to hear that the nudity in question is not mine. You can hear the first episode of Beyond the Reporter's Notebook on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, Google, and about 20 other podcast platforms as well. Just search for Demolition News Radio. And if you have a smart speaker, just ask she who must not be mentioned to play Demolition News Radio, and she will certainly oblige. Uh, Just to let you know, the new show is actually recorded in video form. But that video is only available to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash demolition news. You can become a patron for as little as a pound a month, and that pound grants you access to a whole heap of stuff that is available only to our patrons. Even if you can't afford a pound a month, or you don't think I'm worth it, and uh, there are plenty that would agree with that, be sure to check out the Beyond the Reporters Notebook audio on the podcast platform of your choosing. Now, demolition contractors within easy reach of Rochdale, lend me your ears, because this one is for you. Six million of your finest English quids have been set aside for the construction of a new healthcare hub and pharmacy on the site of the former Parkside Stables. The project is being overseen by United Healthcare, and according to the researchers at the Builders Conference who know about these things, Caddick Construction has got the green light on the new build element of the works. Even though they are poised with shovels raised, they can't actually start until the existing stable buildings have been removed. And at the time of broadcast, a suitable demolition contractor has yet to be appointed. You can find out more about this project lead and many, many more like it uh, over at buildersconference.co.uk. Alternatively, if you prefer to have those project leads injected directly into your ear holes, then please call Nigel O'Sullivan on the number uh, at the foot of your screen. He is standing by to take your call. Sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses, but if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel. Or better still, share this video with a friend or a colleague. Thank you. Right, back to Beardy. Right, that should just about do us for today. Uh, Just a quick reminder that I may or may not be here tomorrow, depending how my father gets on with the paramedics who are with him at the moment. But I will keep you posted. Uh, Either way, I will be back here again on Wednesday morning. I'm going to roll the outro in just a second before leaping gazelle-like over into the chat to see what you're all saying today. But if you can't stick around, please stay safe. Look after yourself, your family, your friends and your colleagues. And thanks for watching. But if you do have the time, I'll see you on the other side of this. (laughs) 